Attraction depends on you. What do you like? And this old passive aggressive thing he did calling dudes gay if they like the way Lisa Ray looked. What kind of stuff is that, man? So that's how you talk to your listeners. You want to browbeat them and, and, and bully them into just either saying what you want them to say or not saying anything at all. And then you take the silence as consent. Like we have a consensus in here that everybody agrees with me when hardly nobody agrees with you. Everybody looking at that picture of Lisa Ray saying to themselves, man, Lisa look good. I don't know what the hell he talking about. But you got them all scared to say it. And this is the environment y'all create because if y'all get bullied like that enough, you stop thinking for yourself. When you see something, you start wondering, what is he going to say? What is she going to say? What is that person going to think? You're not going to move for you and on, on, on behalf of you. You're going to move according to other people. You don't need to have other people in your head like that, in your head space. You don't need to have it every time you have a thought come in your mind or you see something you think you like. You got to start questioning and wondering, is it going to be approved by the consensus? Forget that, bro. If you like it, you pursue it. Period. If you like it, you pursue it. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, my brothers and sisters, you know, I attempted to talk about this topic in a live stream, a live stream test run. I'm getting ready to start live streaming. And I, I missed a lot of points because the live streaming got too many things around, too many monitors and all that stuff. You know, you got like three computers in front of you. It, it, it gets a big hectic. But I really wanted to talk about this dangerous, dangerous subliminal teaching of pedophilia that, that I hear coming from certain segments of black men in the YouTube community. The other day, Jason Black went on a three hours long rant on older black women how unattractive they are, how nobody want them, how they are no dimes above 40, how this and that and that and this and this and that. And, and, and it's odd because none of that stuff he said is true. And I don't even think that's his honest opinion on any of it. He has a problem. This dude is a psychopath, a sociopath of some type, some type of sexual predator, man. I listened to him a couple months ago going on and on about how women, telling his female listeners how they should not mess with a man that have his stuff together. And he said, and saying that, I've never met a 25 year old who had his stuff together. He said, hell, I've never met a 35 year old who had his stuff together. So the, the, the subliminal message to the women, his female listeners is, no matter how young you are, you should not want to date a man that's under 40. That's basically what he's saying. And to the men, he's telling the same thing, you know what I'm saying? You should wait until you're 40, then you will be entitled to a teenager because you put all the work in. But y'all, man, this is, this is not rooted in reality at all. A person, that, that age gap, man, we are so different in those age groups that it's not even funny. I mean, we are just not the same types of people. And yeah, you do have a lot of older women right now that's still dating young men. And you have a lot of older men that still date young women. But these are exceptions. Somewhat at least. These are exceptions. Because truth be told, most older women don't find young men attractive. And most older men don't find young women attractive. It's just something that, it's a sliding scale. As you move through life, you, you, your, your focus is still right here. What you like is inside your gap, right? Inside your range. As your range moves, the women in that range move with you. And you see them the way you've always seen them because this is your range. But anyway, let, let me back up a little bit. Let me say some things. When you hear these red pill type men going on and on and on about young women, right? Like one dude said uh, he wouldn't want to date a woman that's, that's 30 or above because of the experiences that she had. He said it's too much for him. 
That is a sexual insecurity, people. Look, you can't have it both ways. He's either sexually insecure, he don't feel like he can come behind whatever happened and, and, and match up, or, or he is hiding the fact that what he really wants is the youngest woman legally possible. And that's where I'm going with this here. Because if you notice, they all stuck on the number 18. 18 is, oh, okay, Cupid say 18 is the highest search. Or, or this app say 18 years, that's it. it it's, it's all lies, but it's not the point. 18 seemed to be a magic number with these people. So you ask yourself, why 18? Why not 19? No, why not 20? Why 18? Because 18 is actually the youngest age possible that they can, that they, they can call upon without undergoing undefendable indefensible uh, criticism, right? In other words, if they go under 18, they won't be able to legally justify it, right? They won't be able to say anything to justify it because the way our system is set up, the way our culture is set up, we see 18 as a number, all of a sudden that determines a, a young lady is now legal, at least to do some things. She still can't smoke or drink, but it makes them legal, right? To do some things, right? Although truth be told, the legal age of consent is actually, it's not 18 nowhere. It, it, it ranges from 14 to 17 on average, but they can't say 17, right? Even if the legal age of consent in their state is 17, they know they can't say 17. 17 would draw out a lot of criticism. So they stuck on 18 because 18 is just the youngest legal age there is for them to call upon. If they can call on younger, they will call on younger. And that brings me to the real problem. These dudes seem to really want a child bride. That seems to be what they're, what they're calling upon. It seems that what they really want is a child bride. And when I say that these dudes act like these white boys, y'all get mad at me. But who else have we ever heard of using religions and so forth to justify old men marrying child brides. These cult leaders, these white Christian cult leaders or white religious cult leaders, whatever they are, I won't call them Christian, I won't offend nobody, but these white religious type cult leaders type, right? They use Bibles and other scriptures to justify why they should be marrying little girls. And we know this has been done. This has been done. In fact, that was one of the charges uh, of, of the David Koresh thing, right? Say he was he was actually dealing with a lot of young girls. Pornhub, you know, released their data, right, for the, for the most popular searches. I've seen the ones from 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. And consistently, the number one search was for Japanese women, Asian women. And you wonder, why, why Asian women? Why, why Japanese women? What is it about Japanese women that, 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 that will be the most popular search five years in a running? Nothing, except they look like children. I want you to follow me here. That is the only appeal they have is that they look like little girls. That's it. They don't have the bodies that black women, Latina women, or white women have for that matter. They don't. Yeah, there are some exceptions. They got some fine Asian girls out there. They got some exceptions. You know what I'm saying? But usually they, they are Cambodians or something like that and, and Filipinos and stuff like that. They're not searching for them. They searching for Japanese. So they're looking at women that remind them of little girls. The kind that they, they go into and you got to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is the sickness on these dudes' mind. So when they talk about these women body count experience, this is a sexual insecurity because what they really want is to feel like they are damaging a woman when they get with her. That's what they feel like they want. And the Japanese girl gives them that fantasy. But here's the next problem to all these dudes in the red pill community and Jason Black. I know y'all would say he's not red pill, but that's bull. Him not claiming it don't mean he don't have the same mentality. He has the exact same belief system. But here's something to all these men. The next most popular searches throughout, number, number three, 
four, well, the top 10. The top 10 all consisted of MILFs, matures, older woman stuff. So then the top 10 for the last five years, and number three has all been MILFs all the way across the board, right? MILFs. And matures was once number four, but it dropped down a little bit. That's because MILFs and now matures kind of go together now, right? A lot of stuff has changed the way they got the algorithm on the search engine, uh, um, on these sites. But anyway, the point is, right behind the little girl came the older women. So when you say that there are there is no attraction in older women, you have millions upon millions upon millions of men in this country alone that haven't gotten that memo. You know why they haven't gotten that memo? Because it's not true. Y'all don't have a problem with older women because of experiences or anything, because they don't look good. Y'all have a problem with older women because y'all don't feel like y'all can battle these women sexually. That's what this is about. This is about wanting to inflict pain on a woman sexually. Oh, I hope you two don't mess with this, man, because y'all need to hear this. That's what this is about. This is about feeling like you are dominating this woman sexually. You're not going to get that from an older woman, and you're not. You're not. I mean, I've, I've been the first black man for several white women that were that were 50 years, you know, anywhere from 48 years old to 55, 56 years old, right? I mean, oh man, and, and there were dimes. All that stuff, but they don't look good. That's crazy. And I tell you no lie, Ben, it didn't matter whether I was the first, first black dude or not, man. Them, them, them girls be bout it. You know what I'm saying? They bout it, bout it, bout it. They handle that, they, they, they deal with it. You know what I'm saying? If you are looking for the kind of experience and reaction where you go into these older women, they be out, oh, oh, kicking and stuff. It ain't happening with the older chicks, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't happening. I mean, and I don't want to get graphic, right? I don't want to get too graphic, but I've had these experiences, and, and, and I'm telling you, them older girls, they deal with it. They, they deal with it, bro. That's big girl stuff there. So you do, you know, what y'all want, y'all want the, the, the at least the, 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 the feel that you are hurting something. Y'all got problems, man. Y'all remember 50 Cent said about a couple of months ago, he said he was at some kind of event. And he was sitting near Helen Mirren. Now, Helen Mirren is the British actress. She's like 70-something years old, like 75, 76 years old. And 50 said the way that lady looked at him and smiled, it just did something to him. You know, he was like, man, I get with that old lady. So y'all would say 50 Cent got problems. No, Helen Mirren just knows how to tap into that older woman's sexuality, bro. She is a woman. And women are attractive to men. Period. I'm going to say it again. Women are attractive to men, not little girls. Women, you know, these dudes got problem, man. These, these dudes are just as crazy as these other dudes that act like a woman's beauty is, is determined by the size of her butt. Like she got to turn around for you to know if she looks good. That, that's, this is insanity, but there's something wrong with us, man. We become sexually deviant, man. We messed up, bro. We got to get, get away from this stuff, bro. We got to get away from this stuff. And the crazy thing is you the dudes that, that consider yourselves conservative. Y'all the ones that consider yourselves like y'all got high morals and everything, but this is not high morals. You are looking for something else in these young women. You are sexually insecure and, 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 and you are sexually deviant. You want you want to hurt somebody. That's what you want to do. You want to feel like you want to feel like you're the first dude in there so you can hurt them. So you know, that, that's what you want. And you get mad, and the older you get, the worse it's gonna get, because I'm sorry, you're not gonna find virgins after a certain age. It's gonna be very rare, you know? And, and let's talk back about Jason Black. Another thing about him, he is an anonymous dude. We don't know how this dude look. And he's gone on and on about the beauty of women when we don't even know how he look. There is not a single picture of that dude online. At least none that you know is him. Not one. He claimed to be involved in all these things, but not a single picture of him online. Not one. His 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 profile pic is Eldridge Cleaver, in case y'all too young to know who that is. Now, 
I'm listening to him go on about Lisa Ray, talking about anybody who think Lisa Ray look good at 55, you must be Richard Simmons. So basically, could you say anybody who say Lisa Ray right now is still a pretty lady, he must be gay. Lisa Ray is beautiful. That lady will still run circles around most women. She is what you call an exception. Lisa Ray is the definition of a dime. Women like her is how we get that designation of a dime. Dime pieces are exceptional. So when he said that there are no dimes above 40, but well guess what? There are no dimes nowhere, not a lot of them. They are the exceptional beauties. But you do have women above 40 that are exceptional beauties. There are dimes above 40. There are dimes above 50. Lisa Ray is one of them. The fact that he even used Lisa Ray in his little uh, uh, rant and rave about older women's beauty, only this uh, it, it only showed that he didn't know what he was talking about or he was hiding what's really going on within him. Because Lisa Ray is not an example of an ugly woman above 50, bro. She is not that example. You can't use her. Lisa Ray is the definition of a dime. I will bet money, anything you want to bet any one of y'all, that Lisa Ray right now at 55 looks better than any woman Jason Black has ever dated or any woman he has right now. I will bet money on it. I'm going to say it again. I don't care if the girl 12. I don't care if he put on a 13-year-old. Lisa Ray is going to beat that chick because, because Lisa Ray is an exceptional beauty. So you wonder how old this dude really is. For him to talk like that, because old, an older man would understand how older men feel towards young women. By him saying that, you wonder now, how old is this dude really? Who, who is this dude that y'all listening to? Tens of thousands of y'all every day, every night or so forth, tune into this dude. Making this dude money. Y'all don't even know who he is or how he looks. And he's giving you all bad advice. He's, he's telling women to try to find 40 year olds and he's telling men to try to find 18 year olds. There's something wrong with this dude. Y'all better stop listening to people like him, man. I'm telling you, y'all better stop listening to people like him. Y'all gonna find yourselves in a lot of trouble listening to cats like Jason Black. Serious talk, bro. All they do is rant, wave about everything, man. This dude is so angry about everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything makes him mad. He, you know, I mean, I get the politics, the poli the politic part, right? I don't, I don't do politics at all. I don't vote either way. You know what I'm saying? But I don't sit here and just rag on Democrats either. And that's what a lot of you dudes do in the so-called pro-black community. The pro-black community is secretly conservative, and that's a problem. That is a problem, man. And it's been like that for a long time. It's secretly conservative. So I don't vote. But if you listen to that dude, man, it's just anger. I mean, and I know to y'all, he be telling the truth. But that depends on the topic. This topic here talking about the women and how they look above a certain age, nothing he said never was truth. That three hours long rant was all lies. Not a bit of it was true. But I'm only bringing all this up to say this here. Somebody ain't getting the memo. Because I've seen with my own eyes how many young dudes have tried to talk to my wife. And my wife, oh, now they ain't gonna try to marry her. Nothing like, I mean, she ain't going away anyway, but you know, they wouldn't want to marry her if they could. But some of them little young dudes, man, with all the muscles on them, six feet one, six two, if they had the opportunity to smash my old ass wife, them dudes would do it in a second. In a second. So don't tell me there's no attraction. You know, attracting an older woman because attraction is really in the eye of the beholder. Attraction depends on you. What do you like? And this old passive aggressive thing he did calling dudes gay if they like the way Lisa Ray looks. What kind of stuff is that, man? So that's how you talk to your listeners. You want to browbeat them and, and, and bully them into just either saying what you want them to say or not saying anything at all. And then you take the silence as consent. Like we have a consensus in here that everybody agrees with me when hardly nobody agrees with you. Everybody looking at that picture of Lisa Ray saying themselves, man, Lisa look good. I don't know what the hell he talking about. But you got them all scared to say it. 
And this is the environment y'all create because if y'all get bullied like that enough, you stop thinking for yourself. When you see something, you start wondering, what is he going to see? What is she going to see? What is that person going to think? You're not going to move for you and on, on, on behalf of you. You're going to move according to other people. You don't need to have other people in your head like that, in your head space. You don't need to have it every time you have a thought come in your mind or you see something you think you like. You got to start questioning and wondering, is it going to be approved by the consensus? Forget that, bro. If you like it, you pursue it. Period. If you like it, you pursue it. But stay away from this slick side subliminal teachings of pedophilia. Liking young girls is not natural. Saying that they look better than older women is not true. Nothing he said was true, but this dude had, man, he had like... I mean, he had, he had like 5,000 people listening to the live stream, but listening to him talk that crazy stuff. And these are 5,000 men that are going to have problems dating in their personal life. These are 5,000 men that's going to become incels listening to people like Jason Black. An anonymous man that you don't know how he looked. So anyway, man, y'all got to be careful with these dudes. You know, um, their end goal is not good for you, man. Listening to these dudes is going to hurt you. You're being... You're being influenced by psychopaths and fools. Anyway, I'm gonna stop there, man, because I just want to get this out. You know, that live stream didn't come out good. You know, I, I really, but this this is a message y'all need to hear. So I'm gonna use the same thumbnail. I'm gonna put this up there for tomorrow. So I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha Salon.